as you get started building the base for your lynx arm make sure that you have a bunch of things in place before you start step number one is make sure you print out the directions the assembly guide from lynxmotion.com uh, make sure that you have all the little bearings and the pins make sure that you have the 485 servo if you have the AL5D it's the 485 make sure that you have the bottom servo bracket and hardware that goes with it make sure that you have the top that gets mounted on top of the servo um, I use some graphite lubricant it says in the directions to use oil you can use oil just as well uh, the graphite lubricant works fine too and a piece of 400 grit sandpaper and the first step I've already completed I've put the bearings in place with the pins and press fit each one in once they're press fit in you can rotate the base carefully so they don't fall out and rotate gently on the 400 grit sandpaper in a circular motion and then lift up carefully and you'll notice that each one of the bearings now has a nice white line across the center of it that makes it nice and smooth that's where the flashing there used to be a piece of flashing there uh, from when the bearing was made it's just a plastic bearing that takes care of it and then you can wipe all the dust away and you're set with that step that comprises in the directions steps one through four and now we're going to move on to step five where we take a look at the servo.